Hi Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross-watching as well, and welcome to your um, Tara Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at what's going on between you and your person. More specifically, what's going on during the no contact, no communication period here between the two of you. What are they thinking about? What are they feeling here about you and about the whole situation? There's also going to be an extension to this reading, um, a part two. And part two of the reading is going to explore the messages in a little bit more detail, depending what messages we receive here in part one. So we're just going to delve a little bit deeper into those messages. The extension reading will be made available just via the link below that will be provided to you where the show more section is. For those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will also be listed just below the video here. Okay, so let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle and let's begin and let's see what's going on between you and your person during the no contact, no communication period. Okay, so you've got the Four of Swords and the Four of Cups here. The number four has come up twice and you've also got four and five, two consecutive numbers here. Bottom of the deck, you do have the Tower card, which I feel like is a reflection here of what's going on with your connection emotionally, internally, as well as the separation, the discord or the connection, sorry, the disconnection that you may be feeling right now. Um, so this could indicate to us that your connection here between you and your person is under the influence of a tower moment and this uh, it does feel like it's very the tower energy does feel like it's very um, it's quite a heavy energy isn't it it feels like um, your whole world has been thrown into chaos here has been tipped upside down It is a period of, it just feels like there's some destruction and it feels like you and your person or this connection he was hit with something that you didn't necessarily see coming or you didn't necessarily predict here. Mm. How does your person feel? I feel like there, there's a lot of emotions that's going on with your with their energy here. Okay, just because there may be no contact or no communication it doesn't mean that your person has completely stopped thinking about you or has forgotten about you in fact i feel like there's just a lot of confusion there's a lot of pain there's even a lot of waiting um a sense of loneliness as well here i feel like there's been something here which has been brought to the surface here there may have been some emotional triggers that got launched in the process here um it feels like there's maybe some insecurities or some feelings that your person may have had buried deep down inside of them. And I feel like this has caused this tower moment here. And look, you've got the Ten of Swords underneath the tower moment here. That has caused some emotional pain, some unhealed emotional wounds, some um, hurt, some anger, some bitterness, some resentment here, some insecurities to rise to the surface here. So... Um, quite quite a cocktail of emotions here going on with your person, honestly. Um, I feel like... I, 
I mean, with the tower card, what I do like is typically that it, it is followed by renewal and, crea uh, and creation here. Sorry, renewal and creation. Um, and it feels like this could be very altering to your situation. How your person feels about you, I feel like they're really trying to sort of deal with all the emotions that their energy is being flooded with. Um, I see that with the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this person is wanting to give them and you some space here. Perhaps space to sort of recognize and identify some of these emotions here. Um, perhaps just some space to gather and collect your thoughts, your feelings here. Um, this person could also be waiting for you to break the silence first. For you to reach out and initiate the conversation here. Okay, maybe they're... Maybe it's up to you. Maybe they were the ones that had betrayed you. Okay, that hurt you here. And maybe you were the one that, you know, cut them off or blocked them completely. And this person is now waiting for you to unblock them or is waiting for you to sort of send some form of communication and let them know that, you know, it's okay for them to come sort of come back into your life. You're both going through something very difficult because I feel like whatever it is that's happened between the two of you this tower moment this tower energy and its influence has greatly affected you and your person here now you may feel as though you know your person they're not um, communicating and they're not reaching out and therefore you feel as though they're not they don't care or you know they're not invested that's not the case I feel like your person, for whatever reason, your person is waiting to hear from you first. It could be because it's a pride thing. It could be because it's, you know, um, they're coming from a place of ego. Um, it could also be that your person, they hurt you. They have upset you here greatly. Um, and I feel like it's like they're waiting. They're waiting for you to unblock them. Or they're waiting for you to respond. They're waiting for you to communicate here. It's quite an uncomfortable situation that your person um, is facing because I feel like there's some insecurities that are plaguing their energy. There's some behavioral patterns which are not health healthy and unfortunately they may be projecting some of their insecurities or some of the, their pain and their emotional trauma onto this connection here. Okay, so this I feel like it, it's a little intense. It's a little heavy to be honest with you because I feel like there's just there's so much uncertainty and there's so much um, emotional um, confusion as well there's not a lot of clarity nor emotional nor mental here now with the four of cups i feel like because this is your energy um, this is how you're feeling you're feeling as though your person is taking you for granted um, you feel as though you, you're a little disengaged or you can feel them that you know, they've disengaged here and they've slightly disconnected or their energies here have shifted. And you're very intuitive. You're a very intuitive being here. And if you feel that way, then I feel like there has to be some truth to it you, because intuition it doesn't lie. It doesn't. So here you are. I feel like there's also a sense of... To me, there's also a sense of like um, a missed opportunity, okay? And I feel like you're worried that if you don't reach that if they don't reach out and they don't connect with you here you you're you're worried that you're going this is going to lead to an opportunity that is missed or an opportunity that is lost your person feels the same way though i feel like there's a lot of nostalgia in your person's energy i feel like they're they're looking through photos here photos that the two of you have taken together they're rereading your text messages i also feel like they want to communicate but i feel like their pride or their ego is getting in the way I, i'm also seeing them like writing and deleting their messages to you but to me, it doesn't feel like they have it in them to hit send. They don't have it in them. And again, it's just like they're waiting for your communication, waiting for your contact. Um, or perhaps they're waiting until they feel that they're ready to send off that communication on that contact here. They're very self-absorbed right now. So I feel like they're really consumed by all of the emotions that they're feeling here. There's just so much that's going on with this person's energy they have lost a sense of passion. So whatever it is that's going on between you and your person, this disconnection, this separation, this tower moment, it's 
not only has it affected you know your connection but it's affected everything in their life around them they don't feel themselves okay um, i do feel like there's a close friend here that is offering them some emotional support here um, but they're not themselves and i feel like they're not they're kind of like sitting around and indulging in a bit of a pity party in a pity narrative is what i see and they're very your person i feel like is closed off to the idea of healing something so we're going to explore what is that that they are closed off to okay but it feels like they're closed off to the idea of healing some sort of pain or some sort of insecurity here or fixing something within the relationship or the connection that needs fixing here they're very overwhelmed here with a lot of emotions and i feel like because they're so overwhelmed they're not ready to talk they're not ready to communicate and even if you were to reach out and initiate communication now i don't think you would get a lot of clear communication from their end to be honest with you because i feel like there's to me i'm picking up paranoia in their energy they're very paranoid and they're paranoid that if they don't communicate soon enough they might miss out on the opportunity to explore this connection with you or they might lose you in the process here um, there's some sort of inner struggle that's going on with your person as well and they're very defensive about something here what is it that they feel so defensive about here so we'll explore that in part two of the reading as well I feel like there's just, there's so much, I feel like there's just, this is an intricate and a very complicated emotional state of affairs. I feel like there's just so much layers to your person and so many layers to this connection, but I am seeing a lot of hurt, I am seeing a lot of pain here. So is it that the two of you have caused each other a lot of hurt and a lot of pain here in the process which has led to this disconnection here um, and led to this tower moment? Or is it that this tower moment has brought so much to the surface? Okay, it's just exposed so much. It's put a light onto and shown a light onto some of these dark aspects um, or these shadow aspects of the connection here. Okay, so in part two of the reading here, we're going to explore when you might possibly hear from your person because I do feel like there is going to be some incoming contact and incoming communication. I feel like they definitely have something to say here. They definitely want something to communicate with you here. Um, but it feels like they're holding back and it feels like they're waiting for you. So we'll see if, they sw if they'll swallow their pride here or if they'll be the ones to reach out in part two of the reading. We'll also see why is it that they're so paranoid and defensive here, what's going on with their energy here. Um, and just we'll see what's, uh, we'll, we'll go into a little bit more detail as to, um, you know, what's going on with them here. Um, emotionally because they're not themselves I feel like they're not it's like they're not eating right they're not really um, seeing their friends here they're not feeling very social it's kind of like this apathy energy around them and I feel like they're really consumed by all of the emotions that they're feeling they're very withdrawn here so they're not not only are they not communicating to you I don't think they're very chatty with their friends either I feel like Whatever has happened in between the two of you, this disconnection here that I'm picking up, I feel like that's really um, impacted them in a very big way. Even if they don't necessarily um, want you to see that, but I feel like they are. There's so much inner struggle with your person here. So we'll explore those messages in part two of the reading um, and just reminding you, you to follow me via the extension link below i just want to thank you guys for your time your energy and attention it is greatly appreciated and um i will be sharing with you more tarot love messages so do stay tuned bye for now